France is the world's top tourist destination and for good reason. There's a lot packed into just one country, artistic and architectural masterpieces, remarkable museums and natural landscapes, and a history harking back far beyond the Romans. Top it off with fine wine, food and a culinary culture that permeates through every city and small town, and the only hard part is deciding where to go first. Paris France's chic sexy capital has to be experienced at least once. Mix picture postcard icons with simple Parisian moments and you'll truly fall in love with the city. Scale the Eiffel Tower then walk or cycle along the Seine, or cruise down it on a bateau mouch, bakesmouches.fr. Venerate Notre Dame then grab a post-cathedral cafe at Café Saint Regis. Ice cream at Bertillon or Super Juice at Literary Cafe of Mythical Bookshop Shakespeare and Company. Hit the Louvre then collapse on a bench with a Pierre Herm Macaron in the Tuileries or Palais Royal Gardens. Delve into Hilltop Montmartre with a local Paris greeter, greeters.paris. Escape to posh leafy Versailles and come back blown away by France's most famous chateau. Loire Valley. French Riviera. This strip of seashore on the Big Blue Med has it all, hence half the world crowding it out in summer. The seaside town of Nice is the queen of the Riviera with its cutting-edge art museums, Belle Epoque architecture, pebble beaches and legendary promenade. Glitzy day trips trail film stars in Cannes, Formula One drivers in Monaco, and hobnobbing celebs and socialites in St. Tropez. Sensational coastal views make the drive along the three coastal roads from Nice to Minton an absolute must. Otherwise, grab your hiking boots and stride out in the fiery Massif de l'Estrelle for brilliant red rock mountain scenery. Provence Check all devices are fully charged, the extraordinary light and landscape in this part of France's south demands constant snapping and sharing. Start with Marseille, a millennia-old port with striking museums such as the Museum and coastline straight off a film set. Inland, zoom in on glorious Roman amphitheatres and aqueducts in Nîmes, Orange and at the Pont du Gard. Drive past lavender fields and cherry orchards to hilltop villages and food markets in the bucolic Liberon and Vaucluse regions. Champagne this sparkling viticulture region in northern France is all class. Where else can you sip champers in centuries-old cellars and taste your way through vineyards and medieval villages straight out of a Renoir painting? Stay in Reims, pronounced something similar to Reims, or Pernay to visit Pommery, Mum, Moet and Chandon and other big-name champagne houses. Brittany and Normandy A wind-buffeted part of northern France. Brittany and Normandy was created especially for outdoor fiends and history buffs with sensational seafood, cliff-top walks, a craggy coastline and ancient sites steeped in lore and legend. Top billing is Montana St. Michel, a magical mysterious Abbey Island, best approached barefoot across the sand. The French Alps is one massive outdoor playground, which pumps during the ski season, December to April when insanely challenging slopes and trails entice adrenaline junkies from everywhere. Europe's highest peak, Montana Blink, prevails and party town Chamonix is the place to get up close to its might and majesty. The mountain panorama from the top of the Ig Will Do Midi cable car is the best there is, whatever the season. If small and chic is more your style then strap on the skis in Medjv or Asti Gervais.
two damn phones, Babylon's can't